Hello gamers and welcome back, I'm Rob of course, or Shaq if you want to call me by my in-game name and we're going to be reviewing uh, some more of the Knights of the Frozen cards uh, that I've already reviewed. I want to see if I'm right, if I'm wrong, or I wasn't even close. Uh, some good laughs in here and also when reviewing the next set of cards it gives us a little bit more insight into what to kind of look for and um, maybe a prerequisite to what makes a card really good versus a card not so good that we, we might have rated differently. So with that, let's head on into it. The card uh, I think our first card we're going to uh, review is Moving on to the shark. next one is going to be the Bear Shark. I think this this is one of the cards um, that when we went over pl or the um, trying to think of his name he was the legendary hunter card sorry professor future side there you go, I, as Rob. we go over these cards I, I don't know them all yet I don't have them memorized but you know as we move along through the set I'll be able to come up I with know the names all right now, off Rob. the top of my head and be able to relate perfectly but if future I can't Rob think of it knows. I'll pull it up on the screen all for you guys with that super dang tank extra editing. and if they're good or not um, but this is the bear shark the three mana four three can't be targeted by hero powers or spells um, I wish they would come up with a code word uh, for can't be targeted by hero powers or spells instead of having to say it I think calling it like elusive or you know hidden i don't know they can come up with some fucking cool name that they could not yeah a big post when this card came out was people um the game designers talking about coming up with an actual word for this to mean so it can't be targeted by hero powers or spells just coming up with one word in replace of all of that garbage so that's why I was mentioning. I have to write this text, and they could save a bunch of space. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I think this is a really good three mana card um, for Hunter, you especially right. the fact that it's a beast on top of that. So it has mm -hmm. beast synergy, good stats for a three mana card, mm -hmm. and it can't be targeted by hero powers or spells. And right mm -hmm. now, you know, there's a lot of single target uh, removal for mages for. Um, warriors um shamans it's just a ton of shit that it's really easy to remove shit. three mana minions but you add this can't be targeted by hero powers or spells or something and all of a sudden all of a sudden it becomes a little bit more difficult um and this card is one annoying to deal with hunters Again, more games than not they a drop a bear shark that body of a that's bear and the head of a shark individual. i mean that just instills fear into any deck <laughs> so i think this is actually a pretty good card for the hunter class great in arena First of all, fantastic in arena, um, but more importantly, it's uh, it gives you some other play besides Eagle Horn Bow and Animal Companion. Those are kind of your three drop masters right now. I mean, you have Rat Pack, but that's not something you want to play on three most of the time. So this is just a really good on curve three mana card that synergizes well with the whole th uh, the whole package of beasts. And uh, again, the can't be targeted by hero powers or spells is pretty uh, pretty good. And by pretty good, pretty fucking good. Pretty. Uh, the next card we're gonna good. go over is the Paladin. Legendary. Really? There's no he other good, popular he cards in here that we we'll want to discuss. Play even better. He's the five mana. Sindri goes. So also, uh, keep in note, guys. Uh, I only kind of want to go over the popular cards that we reviewed. There's there's a lot of cards we reviewed, and a lot of them just never see play. So the review on them is pointless because obviously it didn't really matter. So I'm gonna more so go over the either very controversial cards if they didn't see play, just because it was very controversial, or kind of popular cards um, that may not see play, or if they do see play that I covered. So that we will cover. Man. I'm never going to work at Blizzard. I wish I could help, though. <laughs> like, I don't know, man. Like, there's just so much... I don't know. Anyway. Sindragosa. 8 mana, 8-8 eight, eight dragon. Battle cry. Summon two zero one one frozen champions. This is another thing they could have done. The frozen champions don't have taunt. They're not actually frozen, and they don't freeze minions that attack them. If you're going to go with this whole freeze mage thing, Brilliant. have the frozen champions do something. Um, I agree, Rob. For those of you who are like, Rob, what the fuck's a frozen champion? Uh, Pull it up a, on the screen. It's a zero, uh, zero attack, one HP minion. Where's your editing? When death rattle, when this creature dies, uh, you, you get a Rob. random legendary to your hand. If I can find an image of that, I should there be able is. to throw it up above. Good job. Um, it's not. This is a. This is a value generating. I, I was about to be pissed the fuck off. Bro. You did me good. You swing. done it right. Doesn't actually you really done do did anything it. to the board to your opponent's life points. It's merely you know a, one card that has the potential to generate two other cards that could be randomly good or bad. You know you get Laura Walker Cho and Van Cleef and they're useless. Or you could get you know uh, Archmage and Tyrion. You know it could be good. And that's one of the things I don't really like. Again, you're just getting these random legendaries. Could be super good, could be super bad. Mm -hmm. So I you wish need some consistency would in your life, Rob. Focus in on it being like the frozen champions gave you a pool of spells. It could be one of five spells or something like that. Like or one of five dragons, and each dragon does different things. One gives spell power, one freezes champions, one does damage to frozen champions on the board. Like it doesn't take a fucking genius to come up with shit that combos of frozen stuff. Hi, like, Rob. Don't get so I'm mad. I'm coming this shit off the top of my head. You guys are a multi-billion dollar company. Maybe I did, my ideas are shit, but come on. Like, I'm tired of this. Just generate random. Generate random. Generate random. Like, there's... 
I, I'm a guy who likes random, but I'm also a guy who likes some consistency in my fucking life. I just life. said that. <laughs> like, it's like we're the same well, fucking I person. I a game because I've played out my opponent. They have no <laughs> cards in their hand, and they top deck something that generally randomly generated some shit that generated some shit that generated some shit that gave them exactly what they needed to win. Like, that doesn't feel good. There's no, no, it doesn't. doesn't feel very good at all. Speak the truth, brother. Anyway, who's with me? I know, I know this video has a tons of rants in it. This is not normally how we do a card review video, but I keep looking over these cards, and I'm just... I'm excited, don't get me wrong, super excited, but there's just so much I wish there could be, and there's just not, because I, I have so much passion for this game, and it's just... Bring it, it on! It's not meeting my expectations all the time, and that's just a very sad thing, but that's just me, you know? This is what I do every day, so I just have high hopes that things will always get better. <laughs> this is bring it on pixelated. Yeah. Anyway, two mana, bring it on, gain 10 armor, reduce the cost of your minions in your opponent's hand by two. So big payout, big payout. If you say fatigue warrior, uh, big reward, big I'll cost. I impressed. like it. Two mana, gain 10 armor. Currently, the closest thing to this we think armor is, you know, shield block. You know, three mana, gain five armor, draw a card. So you're getting six or five more armor. You're paying one less mana. But You've learned how to count. Congratulations. You're, you're decreasing all of the cards in your opponent's hand by Not one. Not all the cards, the Rob. Not is, all the cards. Rob, read. Uh, Rob, the first thing you need to do is read the card. Before you start talking about the card, Rob, read the fucking card. It doesn't say all of the cards in your opponent's hand. It says the minions. Minions. The, the word minions is in this card, Rob. Please. For the love of God, learn to read and count before attempting to play a children's card game. That some decks reducing the cost of all of the shit in their hand by not two, all not by one by two. I'm sorry if I said by one multiple times. I meant by two. Oh man, the YouTube comments. You guys are gonna yell at me. It's by one, Rob. Oh wait, that's not why they're yelling correctly. at you, you fool, <laughs> you baboon. Um, it's because you can't read. Some decks this won't really affect. You know, you're playing an aggro deck and they have two cards in hand. You drop this and, you know, reducing a two mana or a one mana card to zero on turn six or seven made no significant impact to your opponent, but it really helped you out uh, because gaining 10 armor is huge. But at the same time, you play, you're playing against a mage. Mage is, for the most part, in the late game right now, we're Don't seeing a lot of control mage and a lot of freeze mage. You know, you give them two Thars, Emperor Thars and Ticks, which, the, if, for those of you who didn't know what Emperor Thars was, it reduced the cost of the cards in your hand by one every turn. And if you reduce cards in your opponent's hand by two, that's against a, a mage. Oh my god! I mean, you're just you're just asking to get OTK'd. So, I don't think this card will see competitive play. Your review sucks. Unless Rob. the meta is super aggro. If we're seeing a lot of aggro, and you're going into a <laughs> tournament and you expect to see aggro, you could you could probably afford to bring bring it on. And this is where side decks come into play, right? Like, you're in a tournament, and you play some, you know, a guy has a triple aggro lineup. You know, you can sideboard five, ten cards. You'd sideboard bring it on in your deck. We're talking about bring it on. And I need you to bring on a good fucking review. More control, because right now you're, you're disappointing maybe, me, Captain. You know, uh, combo or to Ooh. counteract, you're bringing on. This is where, like, the Ooh. super counterplay comes in. Bone and, Mare. I don't know. Bone Mare. <laughs> Seven mana, five, five. Battle Cry, give a friendly minion, plus four, plus four, and taunt. So he's basically a seven mana nine nine. You've learned to count you yet again. Hmm. Mm. That's right. Say it's good. Say it's good. Maybe. I think he's really good in arena. Good in arena. Continue with this. Does it does doesn't he see belong play? to any particular? You know, he's just a neutral. So uh -huh. I mean, I, I think he'd be pretty good for um, free to play accounts. Whoop, he's a good whoop. common. Don't get me wrong. This is a good seven drop common for free to play players. So Ooh. yeah, not a bad card. Not a bad card. No, Good it's not for free to play play. Competitive play, but it, it's not. It's, whoa, 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 you know, whoa, whoa. What was that? What, what was that last part? You better not have say won't see competitive play. Yeah, not a bad card. Yeah, it's not going to see any competitive play, but ah! it, it's not. It's Rah! you know at rank twenty, it's pretty fucking good card. <laughs> yeah, at legend, it's is, a good card. The, I, I actually put this one for last because this was. Rah! You had one job. You had one job. You failed. Get unfucked up, Rob. This is the coolest neutral uh, card that we have gone over so far, in my opinion, or one of the coolest. Uh, the four mana three threes. So you're like, oh, it's kind of understated. Why is it so cool, Rob? The text, man. They probably hated printing this because it has so much text. Like, it's going to confuse everybody. <laughs> it says, Battle Cry, gain taunt if your deck has a taunt minion. Repeat for Divine Shield, Life Steal, and Wind Fury. So technically, this card could have a, it could have taunt, Divine Shield, Life Steal, and Wind Fury. For four mana, three, three. You've repeated so you get a yourself. Three mana, rop, rop. taunt, divine shield, win. This is what I just did. 
I read the card, read all of its abilities, and then stated as if it was new information, this card could have Taunt, Divine Shield, Lifesteal, and Wind Fury. Like, if I didn't just say exactly what the fucking thing just did. <sighs> In Fury, like, I was surprised be at being, like, uh, I'm not, I can't even talk about this anymore. We need In to move your on. your deck has those Impress cards me, in Rob. It. So, what do we see this in? Paladin. Correct. Paladins have Taunt with Tyrion, they have Divine Shield with Tyrion, and they have Lifesteal with um, Wicker Flame, Burn, Bristle. Another okay. deck that this could go into is uh, Shaman, because they can play Alakir, and it would, you that only never need to play Alakir, Paladin, and you can though, have two of happen. these in your deck. But, but, I don't know if, let's say, you have Alakir and you draw Alakir, mm -hmm. does this still get the ability because Alakir was in your deck? Your deck contains Alakir, but not currently at the moment, so I don't think that'll count. No, but it you could shaman could run just we're playing alakir and all of a sudden you have a four mana fucking monster but yes paladin mm -hmm. shaman mm -mm. depends maybe warrior depends not sure like the diapers. probably not definitely not yeah i think mainly uh, yeah i think mainly uh shaman and paladin this is going to be a be a factor we're 50 percent correct because you want to get you want to get three of the four at least Three of the four at least. Anyway, good card, good card, good epic. It's good to see a good neutral epic. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is not a just... All not right. A shit. Well, that wrapped up all the cards in this episode. We left out the Paladin Legendary, which sucked. Uh, Sorrow's Light, which sucked. Uh, the Druid Legendary, uh, that which never really saw any play. Uh, we left off the Cold Wrath, which sucked. And uh, that was it. We reviewed all, pretty much all of the other cards. This also never really saw play. Um... So with that, I will catch you in the next episode. Of course, thank you for watching, and um, I'll see you in the next one. As always, I'm Robert Warshak, and happy whatever the hell day.